Yo, what up? Eusebius here, back at it again with another video. And today we're going to be doing more Art of the Mentally Ill. Yes, Art of the Mentally Ill. The title's a bit strange, but this is Art of the Mentally Ill. And if you don't know anything about me and it's your first time on this channel, hi, I'm Eusebius, and I have numerous disorders. <laughs> uh, I have three main ones. GAD, Generalized Anxiety Disorder, OCD, Obsessive Compulsive Disorder, and a form of Psychotic Mental Disorder. So... That being said, Art of the Mentally Ill is where I take certain aspects of my illnesses and I portray them through art, whether that be photography, painting, drawing, sketching, all that, whatever, whatever it may be. I'm even planning some music in the future. So if you're interested in any of that, check out my other Art of the Mentally Ill videos. I think you'll like it. And without further ado, let's get into the art. Now, this is one of my um, more recent takes. Uh, it's one based in photography. And so essentially what I did was I put a filter on, uh, a filter that I think is called Vivid Warm or something like that. I don't know, it's on my phone. Anyway, I took a picture of a younger me when I was a little kid and I put that Vivid Fade on or Vivid Warm, I I'm not sure. It's Vivid something. <laughs> and essentially what I did was I took a picture of a younger version of me and then I brought it into my drawing program and I used the smudge tool to move everything around. Why did I move everything around? Well, if you don't know, part of my psychotic mental disorder is experiencing something known as psychosis. And psychosis is a, is a detachment from reality, which means I experience things, whether that be seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, or feeling, yes, f even feeling, they're called tactile hallucinations. It's where I experience something that is not based in reality, or where I believe something that's not based in reality, along with the much more lesser known symptoms like disorganized speech and racing thoughts, which is why I talk very fast in my videos because I have so many thoughts and I can't keep up. My mouth cannot move as quick as my, my mind does. So in this, um, in this disorder, I've experienced many visual hallucinations. One of them being, I like to call it the kaleidoscope. The kaleidoscope is basically what it sounds like. It's as if a portion of your vision has turned into a kaleidoscope. Now, the difference between that and uh, auditory hallucinations are I see things and it's not hearing things, which obviously if you're not an idiot, you're probably able to, able to tell. But I took a picture of younger me, smudged it around to try and simulate that for sort of kaleidoscopic chaos. Um, a lot of the time I'll see kaleidoscopes with a ring of fire, which is represented, oops, sorry, I hit the mic, which is represented right over here. Different colors, different fires. But yeah, I mean, this is uh, this is technically both a photo and a drawing at the same time, because um, I did use my sketching program to, I did use a smudge tool on my sketching program to move everything around. But regardless, this is, uh, one of my first art that I've done on this channel that is a combination of a photo. And one of the things that I really like about it are the deep contrasts between light, mid-tone, and dark. Or I should say light, mid-tone, mid-tone, and then dark. Um, one of the things that I've learned in painting is that you don't need to have clear definition super up close because when you when you take a step back, that's when people are gonna be assessing your art. That's when people are actually gonna look at it. They're not gonna look at it up close and see all the tiny details. I don't know where I was going with that. Uh, I, that's another symptom. I, like, I, have, I have something in my head and I completely forget what I'm gonna say in the middle of saying it because my thoughts race. But yeah. So um, I think that's all I wanted to say. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one. Oh, by the way, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I probably brushed over a lot of what I actually wanted to say. And also, if you're in an emergency, I have emergency links down below. You can click on any one of them and it'll direct you to an emergency service. And my DMs are also down there. Not my DMs are down there. My account links are down there. So if you need any help, if you need to talk to someone, you can always DM me. So without further ado, I'm going to leave you off with this. Ahoy ho, the lava portal.